if you have fog of war enabled in your prison, you won't be able to see everything. Some places will be gray like this, and we won't be able to see what's going on inside. A way we can know what's going inside is by sending a guard to the gray area. This way it will clear up and we can see through the fog of war and see what's going on. One way of having the fog of war always cleared up is to deploy guards in these areas. This way, there will always be a guard inside and we will always be able to see what's going on. But just for these four rooms, we need four guards. These guards could be doing more useful things than hanging around in empty rooms. A different solution to this problem is to deploy CCTV cameras. These will also clear up the fog of war. And we will be able to see what's going on in these rooms. The first step of deploying CCTV cameras in your prison is to build a CCTV monitor. The CCTV monitor can only be built in a security room. When there is a guard sitting behind the CCTV monitor, it becomes active. We can also see that the light is green, which means that it's active. If you take away the guard, the light will become red and the CCTV monitor will become inactive. So there always has to be a guard sitting behind the CCTV monitor. The next step is to install CCTVs. This CCTV is not working yet. That's because it's not connected yet to the CCTV monitor. We can connect the CCTV monitor to the CCTV by clicking on the CCTV monitor, clicking on the connect option and dragging it to the CCTV and clicking on the CCTV. We can't see the connection yet but if we unpause the game, the connection can be seen. When you connect the CCTV monitor to the CCTV, the CCTV will start working and clearing up the fog of war. It can only see in a cone. So it won't be able to see everything at once. By swinging left and right, it will clear up different parts of the fog of war. Where you put the CCTV also matters. As you might see here, it will only look forward and it will look down. That's because there's a wall blocking the CCTV from looking right. So if we place it one down, because there's no wall blocking the CCTV, it will also look to the right. The CCTV cameras can also see walls. So walls do not block the vision of the CCTV cam. The guards will not make use of CCTV cameras. This information you get from the CCTV cameras is only for the player. If there is, for example, an incident in the mailroom, no guards will respond to that incident. They won't be called automatically and you will, as a player, have to manually intervene. For example, by clicking the guard response and then clicking on where you want the guards to respond. If we deploy guards and there's an incident in that area, Guards will be automatically called and they will automatically respond to incidents. So when prisoners are fighting or a murder is happening, the deployed guard will call other guards automatically to help with the incident. 
So areas where a lot of trouble happens, for example, the parole rooms, where prisoners get angry a lot and they start attacking the parole officers and parole lawyers, I deployed guards because a lot of incidents happen in the parole room and I want them to respond quick and I want them to automatically call other guards that are stationed nearby. So places where not a lot of incidents happen, at least in my experience, like for example, the mail room, I put CCTV cameras. Because incidents happen here less often, I can usually do a guard response in time. And I still have a guard deployed nearby so that guard still can intervene in that incident but i'd only need one guard instead of four or five if we read the tooltip of the cctv monitor it says that only eight cameras can be viewed at once so let's add seven more cameras and see what happens all the CCTV cameras are installed and I also connect them to the CCTV mount. Because we only have eight CCTV cameras, all of them are working. Let's check what happens if we add a ninth CCTV cam. So the ninth CCTV camera is also installed. If you connect this to a CCTV monitor, one of the CCTV cameras will become inactive. That is because just like we just read, only eight cameras can be viewed at once. So if you connect more than eight, one of them will become inactive. So this video showed you how to add CCTV cameras to your prison and why. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like. Also leave a comment, comments really help with algorithm and you would be helping me out a lot and subscribe. Thanks again and bye bye.